Hello dear friends, this is Joel Humphreys and I'm glad to be here with you to share a word with you again upon the Word of God. We have this word found in the book of John, the 14th chapter, <clears throat> and I've entitled this little 10 minute message on the fact that Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back to the earth. We read in the 14th chapter where he said these words, Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You believe in God, believe also in me. You see, if you believe in God, you need to believe in Jesus. And when you believe in Jesus Christ, you're believing in God. The only way to God, the great God the Father, is through Jesus Christ. The Bible says, you believe in God, believe in me. I am your God. And he said, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And when our heart is troubled, it's because we are getting our eyes off the Lord. And so we need to look to Him. We need to look to Jesus, and our hearts will not be troubled, but they will find triumph instead of trouble. They will find peace in the midst of pain. They will find tranquility in the place of adversity. The Holy God will bless you when you believe in Jesus. Believe in God, believe also in me. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And so don't be afraid. My dear friend, cast old fear out. Then he said, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, and I go to prepare a place for you. Then if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And so we see here, the perfect word of a perfect God. He came. He redeemed us. He went to that cross and died for our sins. And he rose again, praise God, and went back to heaven. And he said, because I've gone to prepare a place for you. And he's gone to prepare a mansion for you. You have a mansion. Hallelujah. Christian, you may live in a tent down here, but you've got a mansion over there. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God. I've got a mansion over the hilltop in that great land where we'll never grow old. And someday yonder, we'll never more wander. We'll walk on streets of purest gold. Hallelujah. There's a mansion waiting for you, dear Christian. Don't give up. Look up. And keep going because God is there to help you. Jesus said, I've gone to prepare a place that when I come again, I'll receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. You see, the Lord loves you so very much. He wants you to be with Him. And He wants you to be with Him so that He's coming back after you. And the Bible teaches that truth. That precious truth of the Lord's coming back. Over in the book of Acts, we read these words in the first chapter. Jesus said, All power in heaven and earth is given unto me. Therefore go ye and preach the gospel I have given you in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And he said, Behold, behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. And when he had spoken these things, he was taken up, and with a cloud received him out of their sight. And uh, <clears throat> while they looked, and there were, there were. Uh, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as they went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, as angels. And they said unto them, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. He went up in clouds of, of heaven, and he went out of sight. And he's coming back in the same way in the clouds of heaven, and ever I will see him. And that day may be soon, dear friend. We don't know when it is, but it could be very soon. And if it comes today, I want you to be ready. If he comes today, be ready. Oh, my dear friends, it's possible that he could come today, this very day. He's coming back. All of the scriptures point to his coming again. And we need to recognize and know the truth that he's coming back. He's coming back with the glory of God about him. And he's coming back to carry his own to heaven. So whatever's out there, know that this is something 
He's coming back and you're going to receive the crown of glory. So hold on. Don't give up. Keep going. God is near and He's coming back and it could be very soon. I praise the Lord. They used, they've sing a Christmas carol for years. It's called Joy to the World, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. And that's a beautiful hymn, a carol. But uh, one denomination has changed the wording just a little, and it sounds like this. Joy to the world, the Lord is coming. Let earth receive her King. <laughs> you see, instead of the Lord has come, the Lord is coming. And that's both of them are true. The Lord has come, and we ought to rejoice. And the Lord is coming again, and we ought to rejoice in the fact that He's coming. Because when He comes... <clears throat> Everything is going to be straightened out. All scales will be balanced. All wrong will be made right. And God will lift every burden. And He will seal every spirit and love every soul and take home with Him those that belong to God. And so we see the importance of His coming. He's coming back. And we need to be ready. We need to be ready. And when He comes, we ought to be ready. I want you to be ready. I want you to pray a prayer like this and say, Dear God, Please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe He rose again. I believe He paid for all my sins upon the cross at Calvary. I believe He's coming back. Praise God. And I'm asking you to come in my heart and help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Pray that prayer, and you'll be ready when He comes. When He comes. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. I, I like that. I like that old song, of course, that says, Oh, praise the God. I just heard the trumpet sounding. I just heard they were buried. The, the, uh, uh, I, and now His face I see. Oh, the King is coming. The King is coming. Praise God, He is coming for me, and He's coming for you. I just heard the trumpet sounding, and now His face I see. Oh, praise God, praise God, oh, the King is coming, the King is coming. Praise God, He is coming for you and for me. And so really believe that. Receive Him and know that all is well, for God is with us and the victory is ours, and you're going to be with him forever. In the name above all names, you'll never, never be away from him. You'll never die, you'll never grow old. You'll be with him forever, and walk in peace and the glory of God. Amen.